YouTube channel. And all I want you to do really is just to stand where you are. Take your feet out a little bit wider. We're just going to mobilize a little bit. I know some of you might have been doing stuff. Some of you might not. But we all need to mobilize a little bit. Excellent. And take it forwards. It's forwards. Take your feet out a little bit wider. Inhale, exhale, come on up. Inhale, exhale. Lovely. Come on, keep going. Keep doing this. Keep it up. Three more. Two more. And one more. Bring your feet in. Let's bring it over and just stretch. Just come out back a little bit further because I'm standing and change it over. Bring it back. Let's roll the shoulders. Let's roll them the other way. Let's do a big arm circle. Just one. And then take it the other way. Change. Let's do the same on the other side. Round, do the other way. Well done. We're going to bend our knees, we're going to come down, and then we're going to tuck our tailbone and then come up. So, just from the side view, down, tuck your tailbone up and come on up. That's it. Let's do it again. And push up. Oh. So, you're going to start feeling it stretching through your lower back, through the ribs. A little bit through the hamstrings as well. Two few more. Let's do one more. So now I want you to bend your knees, take your hands and clasp them behind the back of your legs. Round by your knees. Have a nice little stretch. Now just rest your body on your thighs if you can. Stick your tailbone up in the air. Use your arms to pull you in. Now we need to straighten our legs. So place your hands on your legs, straighten your legs. Some of you may be a little bit higher up, and some of you lower, doesn't matter. I just want you to try and fold your body down, stick your tailbone up in the air. And just release. Bring your hands to the floor and go into a down dog. So from here, we're going to bring one knee in and push the heel down. Sorry, I've got my mouth in my jumper. And the other heel down. So stretch. Perfect. Now let's push both down. Pull the abs in. Lift your tailbone up. Push towards the far wall. Then come down onto your hands and knees. We're going to arch our back. And lift the tailbone back under. Arch the back. And lift the tailbone up. One more. And back. Now we're going to just straighten one leg. And we're going to lift it and circle it round one way. Keeping the weight even on your hands, circle your leg the other way. Keep your head in line with your spine, try not to drop it down. And then bring it down, so straighten the other leg, circle it round one way. And then the other way. Now come on down, all the way down onto your tummy, that's it. And then what I want you to do is to lift your chest off the floor, so keep your feet nice and relaxed, lift your chest up, and then drop it down. So you're almost like you're shrugging with your shoulders as well, and down. 
Rod up. And down. One more. Well done. Tuck your toes under, come back onto your hands and knees, go into child's pose. Just hold that pose. Gonna come up. Should we all pull our pants up? Probably need to. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be on one hand and we're just going to rotate. So we're coming into this position here. So I want you to bring this hand behind your back and just hold it so we've got a bit of strength. So we're gonna use, gonna work a little bit through here, hold it. This leg is on the floor. Then we're going to turn, do the same on the other side. Push your chest forwards. Hold, hold and hold. Then come back. Now we're going to go down onto our elbows. Like so. So you're going to bring your hands so they're like this. With your knees on the floor, you're gonna rotate and come up. And then come back and do the same on the other side. Rotate and come back. Do it again. And again. That's it, a couple more, so helping through the shoulder. And one more. Brilliant, back into child's pose. Reach forwards with your fingertips, guys. Then we're gonna come up, pull our pants up again. <laughs> and we're gonna take a big step forwards. Try and see, see the back hip? It's not upright like this, we're pushing it forwards. That's it. So if you can get your hands to the floor, fantastic. Tuck your toe under, you're coming up. Now, try and shift your weight forwards a little bit and then go back. Shift the weight and come back, there we go. Then come back down and stretch through the back of the leg. Just slowly bring your body down towards that leg. And hold. Okay, so we're going to do the same on the other side. You might find you're getting a bit warm actually. So make sure that back hip is, that's it, is stretching. So you can see I'm not upright like this. I'm stretching through the back hip. Hands on the floor, lift the leg. Now what we're gonna do, shift the weight forwards and back. Forwards and back. So notice how this is in line here. You can play, put a play, put a hand on your leg, on your knee. Do a few more. Stretch through those feet. One more. And then straighten that leg. Now we're going to come and sit forwards. So that's it, crossing our legs. And just come forwards. Drop your head down. That's it, just so you can stretch through the back. Now we're gonna take our legs out as wide as we can get them. Point your toes, lift up, squeeze your butt, take your shoulder blades back, squeeze, squeeze. And then bring it down, bring your legs together. Take your one leg over and then look where the space is left 
and turn, rotate, just lift the chest up and rotate. We can do the same on the other side. Lift. When I say lift, we lift the chest and we rotate. We look over our shoulder. And then we bring it back. Well done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to increase that stretch. We're going to place the ankle just above the knee and we're going to come up and just bring your butt in a little bit. So you've got your hands behind you to support you. Just come forwards. And if some of you can, you can bring a thread a hand through and hold it here. Don't worry, I'm sure a lot of you will be falling over doing this one if it's like that. So the more you bring it in, the more you can feel that hip. Then we're going to change it. So first of all, you just take your ankle over, you lift it up, and you can feel that buttock stretch, yeah? So you feel it all down the piriformis, it's a fantastic little stretch. building up on this one. Now if you can, I can only do it from here. I can't bring my foot in any closer. Some of you might find that you can. Perfect. So we just have to hold it. It's all about being nice and quiet. Brilliant. So now we're going to cross our legs. So once you're in a cross position, the leg that's in the front is going to come over. And you're going to try and push this butt to the floor, bring the knee in towards your chest. This hand comes behind and you're going to turn and just look over this shoulder. Oh, deeper, deeper, deeper. So we started level one, level two, now we're level three. So hopefully some of you have got both seat bones on the floor. Some of you, if you haven't, I want you to focus on getting your seat bone on the floor. Otherwise, just um, the rest of us can rotate yeah, just hold it, try and relax. I know you can really feel it, but it's really working. Especially if you did the workout and you've done gardening today as well. And then change. So now what we're gonna do is cross your legs the other way. Now, first of all, we're gonna come forwards because we haven't done, you'll be, um, everybody will be on their opposite leg. So this will be the one you're not used to doing. Just come forwards, relax your shoulders, come into a nice tight ball. and then come up. Now, let's see if we can get the other one over. Don't worry if you can't. Remember, we're on a journey. We're not necessarily gonna get our destination. So my bum is well lifted off the floor here. So I need to get my seat bone down. So I'm gonna focus on concentrating on relaxing down, down, down. Rotating. Lifting the chest. That's it. We're also doing a lot of sitting, a lot more than we normally do. And some of you, especially if you're working from home, whereas you were in an office and you've been walking around, going for coffee, it's a bit shorter than a, smaller than an office most houses. So you're not moving around quite so much. So we, we get a little bit tight through here and we need to change that. Fantastic, right, take it out, straight legs, come forwards. And just relax your shoulders. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and um, take one leg up. So you're going to bend one leg. So I'm not telling you left or right because you're all watching so you'll be doing different things. Grab hold of your leg and lift it up. So you can grab hold of it here or you can grab hold of it here. Now come forwards. Yeah. And then see, come down and see if you can lift it up. That's it. Now, what I want you to do is try and push that butt off the floor as much as you can and bring this leg here as close as you can to your body. 
Now I can hold on to my heel, but some of you may find you can't, and that's all you have to do. That's it. And then bring it down. Brilliant. I hope some of you didn't decide to do this in a skirt <laughs> while you're at home. So bend the other leg. Could, could be causing a few problems at home, couldn't it? So let's bring it up. You can hold on to this or you hold it on to make sure you're holding on to a good strong platform on your foot, whether it's your heel or by your big toe. Then come forwards and lift up. That's it. So you can push up. Now I'm no ballerina and I'm no dancer and I know that dancers can go back a lot further. So if you want to have a bit of fun and take a photograph, if some of the kids could do this, because some of the dancer girls will be able to go way back. But you can feel it stretching all the way down here. And it's a bit of fun to try something a little different. Holding it. Fantastic. So bring it back down. So let's take one leg back. Now we're going into hurdler stretch now. That's it. One leg forward, one leg back. So don't bring this leg here. It needs to be way back. It needs to be at the back of the back. Watch you don't get cramping through your hip. Just come forwards. Lean over the leg. Try and relax a little bit. Come forwards a little bit more. That's it. Now try and let go of the bum at the back. I can feel my body just slowly heading down towards the floor. Then we're going to come up and then we're going to change it. So heard the stretch with the other leg. Remember this is, this is going over the styles. So at the moment a lot of us don't want to touch anything so obviously the more flexible we are the better we can get over some of these styles without having to touch things because we're all trying to stay safe let's come forward oh my goodness this is my stiff leg yeah so we try and allow our body just to melt down the leg or shimmy down the leg just relax through the butt at the back just come forwards That's it, a little bit more. Then come up, well done. Bring it in, give it a shake. Let's bring the feet together. Now when the feet are together, you put your hands on your ankles, your elbows on your thighs, push your thighs down now as you push your thighs down, lift your chest up and bring your heels in a little bit. If you want to, you can grab hold of your toes or just keep hold of your ankle. While you're holding this position now, I want you to inhale. And then as you exhale, just try and get those legs to relax down a little bit more. That's it. Let's do it again. Inhale. in a little bit more. So often when it's cold in the winter I like to hold on to my toes because it keeps my toes nice and warm. Fantastic, shake it out. So also I'm showing you this way on my mat, in fact I'll turn my mat around. Keep me warmer. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this leg up here. Yeah, we're going to take one hand behind the back, which is the same hand as your leg. This hand goes to the knee, just above the knee. And I just want you to lift up, come forwards, lift up and rotate. So you're rotating round, so you're rotating through the torso. Inhaling and exhaling. And then change. We're going to come up, so really come forwards and then rotate. This isn't so much for your bum, this is through your torso. So lift your chest, rotate round, take this shoulder back. That's 
release it and just hold it. Further you can go. See, my leg has a tendency to fall out, so pull it in and then rotate. I'm going to change this one here, this one behind, lift up and rotate. Just holding it, just try and relax. Then change, pull it in, lift up and rotate. Then come forwards. Now remember we had our legs wide and we lifted ourselves up. Take your hands behind. Lift yourself up, hold, squeeze your butt, a little bit of strength. And then bring it down. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring this leg in and we're gonna place it on top of your thigh. Now some of you will find this quite, if you're, if you're very um, tight through your hips, you might find this hurts your thigh. So you can take it over a little bit if you want, or just leave it down here if it won't go anywhere. So we're gonna hold this position here. Oh fuck, it's come on, it's, it's just, I've just lost it. And we'll just hold the position here and we'll rotate. Sorry guys. We'll carry on on this one because it's working. And then change it over. Lift up and rotate. Obviously Mrs. Internet isn't working properly today. And then bring it forwards, just fold. And then we're gonna just cross our legs and just be nice and tall. Just roll, roll the shoulders back and down, relax. Nice deep breath in and out. And again. Just feel grounded through your seat bones, your shoulders relaxed, nice and long through your neck. Feel tall through the spine. breaths in and out. Well done everybody. I'm sorry about the uh, little swear word in the middle there um, because obviously the uh, internet decided to stop on me so luckily I videoed it and um, hopefully you'll be able to catch just this last little, little few minutes um, on the iPad which hopefully I'm going to put on YouTube. See you later. Love you all. Have a lovely weekend. What's left of it anyway. Bye.